So this test is to see if my Rock Pals 300 can power this little portable boiled egg steamer, which has a maximum operating power of 360 watts. And this thing has a continuous maximum of 300 watts, but I believe an overall maximum of 600 watts for uh, instantaneous loads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this up as you can see, the battery is fully charged for the rock pals. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit my little timer here. And you can see I spiked up to a little over 300 watts here. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pause this video and see if I can make it all the way to the chime, which indicates that the eggs are- We're boiled. about halfway into this boiled egg test. And as you can see, the water is boiling under there. And what happens is this little machine steams, steam comes out of this hole here, which is, you know, can probably boil your skin. And what it does is it boils these eggs. In this case, I'm making a medium boiled egg, which is just a little bit softer than hard boiled. Good texture, it's not too creamy or anything, or not too solid or anything like that. They're really easy to, to peel later on. And one thing I wanna point out is this wattage has been very steady at about 314, 315 watts. We're running at about four or five minutes right now. Total cook time usually for this process is about 10 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll see at the end after the load is off what the steady state battery power is. So the chime has just started going off. Uh, as you can see, the, the chime is going off. However, we see that the cook process has stopped. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if I can do this one-handed, turn that off. I'm gonna pop this lid off. And then, so that I can get a good sense of how these eggs cooked, I'm gonna, they're really hot. I'm gonna take them and drop them into this cold water to kind of stop the cooking process. And I'm gonna let those sit for a minute or two, cool off, and then I'll, I'll see if the, uh, if the eggs cook good. The other thing I want to show you is the final voltage after, and let me turn this AC power. Oops, well, I guess I need something on. So I'll turn DC on so it doesn't have the inverter running. But it went from approximately 12.6, which was the maximum charge, uh, well-charged state of this uh, rock palace system, down to 11.9 to 12.0 volts. Uh, in about 10 minutes running that 315 watt average power draw. Okay, so now we're gonna check out our eggs and see how they came out. I've got two of them. One thing is this uh, egg, and I don't know if you can see this in the camera, you have to poke these little holes before you use that machine, otherwise they could pop. And so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna peel this egg and see in that 10 minute period, on the sort of medium soft setting. So I'm expecting this to be a little milky inside, not too solid, but you see it's really easy to peel. Uh, how the egg came out, oh man, I hate wasting an egg like that. I dropped a little piece of it. But as you can see, it's a pretty good egg here. And then uh, got a little bit of a soft, nice soft boil inside. Some people like them harder, you can cook it harder. However, I like it like this. It's a little creamier. But in the end, your Rock Pals 300 can power this egg boiling machine. So if you're like me in California and you do happen to run out of power, you'd be able to boil yourself some eggs and uh, enjoy those to get a hot meal or some other things, but probably not a cooktop or anything like that, like an electronic or induction stove. Anyway, this is my review of the Rock Pals 300 boiling eggs.